Hey Internet, it's me, Rob Cass again. And uh, before I get into what I'm about to get into, I just wanted to point out, I have a little bit of an abrasion, it looks like, on my nose here, on two, both sides. It's more clear here. Um, I just wanted to point that out because uh, it's really weird. It just, I, it, it looks like I got into a bar fight, is what it looks like. It looks like I got, got smacked around a little bit. It's really clear on camera, but I, I didn't. There was no bar fight, um, no no physicality at all. I literally woke up with this. It doesn't hurt to the touch. I don't know what it is. I wanted to do another mystery comic unboxing from TFAW, thanks for another world.com. Uh, I did one of these last month and uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, I, I have a lot of fun doing these, so I, I thought I'd do it again. Um, what it is, is they have an option on their website uh, which, by the way, I mentioned it in my last video, I'm going to mention it again. I'm a huge, huge fan of this site. Let me turn it around so you can see. Uh, TFAW.com. There it is. Um, it's where I pre-order all my comic books from. Uh, every month, I get comic books from them. Uh, every week, really, I get comics. I, I pre-order months in advance, and they, they arrive uh, uh, promptly. They, uh, great pricing. Uh, they cut you a deal if you pre-order far enough in advance. Just a great website. I've never had any problems with them. They have an option on their site called a grab bag. And what you can do is you can get uh, single issue comics that are uh, Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Image Comics, no, not Image, Dark Horse, Dark Horse Comics, um, an independent publisher, which they just throw a random independent publisher in there. And I think an adult comic, I think, is another option. Um, and they're 50 cents. They're 50 cents a piece. You get a single issue. It's completely random. Uh, you don't know which one you're going to get. You don't know what title, uh, anything like that at all. Um, they also have a graphic novel uh, grab bag selection as well, which is the same thing. Um, except I found out this time that they don't have DC graphic novels. And I'm, I'm not sure why that is. So what I did was I did uh, three random uh, Marvel single issues, three random DC single issues, and three random... Uh, Marvel uh, graphic novels uh, because I wanted to do three Marvel graphic novels and three uh, DC graphic novels but as I said DC graphic novels is not an option which is weird so I'm going to get right into this okay this is one of the DC ones right off the bat it is uh, New 52 Justice League number 34 I don't have this one that's a very cool cover written by Jeff Johns uh, with art by Scott Collins. So that's very cool. Very nice glossy covers on these DC comics. Uh, the next one is also DC, New 52, uh, Green Lantern, number 25. And that is written by Robert Vendetti and art by Billy Tan. Billy Tan is really, really good. I'm a huge fan of Billy Tan. Billy Tan's art. I've been a fan for a very long time. Really cool, cool stuff. Don't have that either. Very cool. Um, the next DC comic is, ooh, the number, number one, The Movement number one. Very, very cool. Written by Gail Simone. I am so happy that I have this. I don't have this yet. Uh, this is a Gail Simone book that I don't already have. 50 cents. 50 cents a piece, you know? So now we're getting into the Marvel ones. We have Superior Spider-Man number 33. Written by Christos Cage with Dan Slott. And the pencils are by Giuseppe Camoncoli. So very cool, very nice cover on that too. Thanos, a god up there listening, number two. There's the cover to that. Oh! Ego the Living Planet. Might be making an appearance in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, we'll see that. Uh, written by Rob Williams with uh, pencils and inks by Neil Edwards and Paco Diaz. Oh, this is a, um, a variant cover. Uh, New Avengers number 22. I'm not going to open that yet, but it's doesn't list who wrote and who wrote and directed. Jesus wrote and, and drew it, but that's very cool. You got Sky there. Cool thing is the last few times that I've ordered these, I've gotten variant covers. I'm I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy about that. Now we're going to get into the graphic novels. So first we have Ultimatum, March on Ultimatum. You can see there. Okay. Um, part of the Ultimate Universe is collecting Ultimate Fantastic Four slash Ultimate X-Men no Annual Number One, Ultimate X-Men slash Ultimate Fantastic Four Annual Number One, 
uh, Ultimate Captain America Annual Number One, Ultimate Hulk Annual Number One, and Ultimate Spider-Man Annual Number Three. And then it has a list of, I mean, there's all these different creators here, Bendis, Loeb, um, a lot of really great people. The next one is Punisher War Journal, Volume, where is it? There it is, Volume 4. Writers uh, Matt Fraction and Rick Remender, and uh, artist Howard Chicken. I don't have enough Punisher. I don't own enough Punisher copies. Next up is Captain Universe, Power Unimaginable. And this uh, collects Marvel Spotlight 9 through 11, Incredible Hulk Annual number 10, Marvel Fanfare number 25, Web of Spider-Man Annual 5 and 6, Marvel Comics Presents number 148, and Cosmic Power Unlimited number 5. It is written by Bill Matlow, Jerry Conway, Eric Fine, Tony Isabella, and Dan Slott, and illustrated by Steve Ditko, June Brigman, Neil Error, Rick Leonardi, and Bill Wiley. And then Punisher War Journal number 4, uh, going back to that, collects Punisher War Journal uh, number 18 through 23. Uh, written by Matt Fraction of The Invincible Iron Man and Rick Remender of The All-New Adam and illustrated by Howard Chaykin of Howard Chaykin of Wolverine. So that's what that collects. I forgot to mention that. So all in all, three really great Marvel graphic novels. I also got the Marvel Marvel selection was uh, New Avengers number 22, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. variant cover. Thanos, I got up there listening number two. Superior Spider-Man, Edge of the Spider-Verse, number 33. And then the DC Comics are, of course, Justice League, number 34. Green Lantern, number 25. And The Movement, number one, which is the one I'm most excited about, by Gail Simone, who is amazing. And so there you have it. I think I'm gonna do this at least once a month. Um, Maybe not to this extent. I might just do a few single-issue comics. Uh, maybe I'll do some Dark Horse next time, see what I get. Um, as always, I've had a blast doing this. Love the website. I'm going to give the link to the website down in the description. Be sure to check them out. Uh, again, great prices. I, not a sponsor in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I get absolutely no kickback, no discount, nothing from this. Um, just really, really happy with the website and everything that they offer. So be sure to check them out. As always, thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Bye.